hello everyone welcome again to my channel how are you guys doing i hope all of you are doing well today's video is a cook with me i am going to be cooking in my kitchen and i'm going to clean after i finish cooking um one thing about me is i always clean as i go anyways so it's going to be a mix of it to be honest but i'm going to do like a general cleaning after my cooking today i am going to be cooking vegetable soup and i'm going to be using goat meat i'm going to be using varieties of meat i'm using snail smoked turkey i'm using shaki um i don't know if i mentioned goat meat so yeah i'm just washing my goat meat as always and you guys know how i do my thing so i'm going to be washing it um if i feel like sometimes i use vinegar or I can just use um, hot water to wash my goat meat. First, I will parboil it, rinse out the water when it's parboiled a little bit. But today, I'm using vinegar. Once you use vinegar, all the dirt will come out. Like, you will see everything. You will think they are clean when you, you, when you wash them with hot water, but it's not actually clean. So I usually use vinegar or I just, excuse me, I just put it on the stove with water and I let it boil and I throw out the dirty water so that's what I usually do I enjoy cooking in the kitchen and I know some people are complaining that oh Abby this is too much of cooking on this channel we want to see a mix of everything sorry this channel is called Abby's cooking which means I cook all the time here I'm a mom I always cook I always cooking like I'm always cooking in the kitchen so I decided to just share with you guys my cooking this is no recipe time nothing like that i just do cook with me and clean with me so and a lot of you guys do enjoy it but some people apparently uh you know getting tired of it this is abby's cooking it's called abby's cooking so sometimes when i feel like i do cleaning of my house organizing there but it can be tiring with a baby so i just you know base this channel right now on cooking sometimes eating because i do something that is convenient for me cooking is very convenient for me because i do it all the time anyway so anyway you guys um i am going to be frying my meat and my fish and i am also going to be blending my peppers i use unico and i use bell peppers and i use kosh peppers and onions this is what i use for my cooking like when i'm making stew somebody also left a comment saying that um, if I don't cook American food, like um, I only cook like uh, orange color looking food and I'm like, listen, I'm Nigerian. Yeah, it might occur to you that all my cookings are orange because we use peppers, we blend peppers. It turns out to be kind of orange or red, you will call it. Our jollof rice is orange color. A goose soup is orange color. So yeah, maybe our food is kind of like orange, but we do have grains. We do have white, we do have all kinds of colors as well. It just depends on what I'm cooking. I have cooked okra here before. I have cooked ewedu here before. I have cooked greens here before. Today when I'm cooking is green, it's kale that I'm cooking into a foriro. So um, I actually cook all kinds of colors of food. So it's not only orange, but if it turns out to be orange, well, that's probably what I'm cooking so it doesn't mean that it's the same thing all the time um yeah fried rice isn't orange <laughs> um our yam isn't orange uh beans isn't orange well it can be orange when you mix a lot of things in it so anyway i just thought to clarify that you can see now that i'm cooking um i'm cutting my vegetable which is kale i'm gonna turn it into vegetable soup my kids love it i'm going to be making it very nice and liquidy so they can you know drink it as soup because my kids love eating soup too so when i make it liquidy they love it anyway so i'm cutting my kale a lot of you guys always ask me what i use for my vegetable soup it's kale you guys it's so nice and i started adding more of the um, stems into my cooking because my kids love the stem when i cut it into smaller and cook it for them it kind of like tastes crunchy in their mouth when they're eating it and they love it they specifically always looking for the stems in their soup they love it so yeah that's what i'm doing over here all right so um my fish is fried 
and my meat is also cooked and fried so I set them on the side while I cut my vegetables and also clean up and my kids are just um they just finished their homework actually and they decided to like you know spend a little time on their iPad which I usually give them a lot of break when they come back from school so yeah oh actually I think my fish were just finishing frying over here so yeah So um, my fish is ready and my uh, meat is ready, nice and fried. So I'm just going to set this on the side and I am going to move on to the next thing. You guys, I love to use my broth. This is a broth I'm saving here. I usually use it to like make this sauce very liquidy when I am cooking the sauce. So and there is a uh, towel on the floor. I have been loving. I know some of you guys will say get a kitchen mat. One thing is I don't like kitchen mats on the floor because they get dirty. You have to keep cleaning them all the time to retain the color, especially when you're cooking when like the water is dripping around. So that black um, towel on the floor, um, it's just my cleaning rag. I can step on it, wipe right away if anything drop on the floor. Just wipe it off and it keeps my floor very nice and clean so yeah I usually get like used towels from value village you get like about 10 rags like 10 towels for about five dollars so they're used towels I just use them to clean and they are very very good like they are big as well so yeah um, I just like it I just I don't like um, the kitchen mat it just get dirty it looks good it looks nice i just don't like you know the idea of picking it up and shaking it and sweeping it and vacuuming i don't like that idea so anyway so i had lots of uh, broth left so i'm just going to keep them in my fridge this broth i use it for everything i can use it to make jello fries fried rice i always retain my broth and i just keep them um on this day I have a lot of broth so I split it in half I use some to cook and I kept the other one so I am gonna begin to cook my uh, stew now uh, or the soup you will call it um, so I just added some of the oil that I use for the uh, frying the fish and the meat and I don't have a lot of like palm oil left so I just used a little bit left of the palm oil mix it with the vegetable oil and i am going to start cooking so when i'm cooking i like onions in my food you guys know just like that i like to like um I fry some onions it just make it different and you can see the oil and the the palm oil and the vegetable oil it's just perfect um i know some people use just ordinary palm oil to cook their, their vegetable soup for me i can mix it it doesn't matter but i cannot use just vegetable oil so i always have to use palm oil to mix it in to mix with the vegetable oil anyway this is my blended pepper like i said i'm not making the um the vegetables too thick i'm making it kind of like liquidy because my kids love it when it's liquidy so that's why the uh, peppers that I blended is a little loose just like what you guys are saying right now I know if you want to make vegetable soup 
like the real vegetable soup nigerian ones you don't add water in the peppers when you're blending it you you add just a little bit of a little bit of the uh pepper sorry a little bit of water in the pepper to blend it and it make it very thick there's no sauce in it but for so yeah this is how i like my soup to look liquidy like the vegetable one so i'm going to be using chili flakes in my sauce just like that i'm going to mix it and when you're making vegetable soup the chili flakes is a must because it just give it that i don't know i can't describe it that um a tajiti kind of look before you add your vegetable like nigerians can testify to what i'm saying yeah so anyway i am just doing my cooking you know trying to like put things away organize a little bit and also before oh yeah i sneezed <laughs> before my soup is ready before i um finish my energy because by the time i finish cooking i'm usually very tired to like make fufu i am going to be making fufu and there's this controversy going controversy going on on my channel that i keep calling pounded yam fufu listen i can call it anything i want because this is what i'm comfortable calling it you know i'm not used to like calling it pounded yam because it's not actually pounded i'm cook i'm just mixing it on the in the pot you know i got a lot of people coming after me and like really getting upset like oh you are misleading people this is not fufu this is not listen i call anything fufu okay if it's like this i call it fufu i even call eba fufu okay it's just what something that i'm used to i can call it anything you anything i want if it's fufu as long as it's swallow to me it's fufu everything is fufu i, I grew up saying all of that you know all the swallow fufu so people coming after me and get, getting really really upset i remember like when i make how to make fufu on my channel how to like you know turn fufu on the stove people come after me a lot like this is not fufu well it is pounded yam but i'm not going to call it pounded yam because it's not actually pounded it is you know um fufu so call it whatever you want to call it this is what i call it i call it fufu even to my kids i just tell them oh you're going to have fufu tonight yellow fufu brown fufu or you know so anyway um so i just made my fufu and i am going to be adding the meat in the sauce you know just my regular thing that i do in the kitchen you guys cooking is one of the most hardest thing ever and apparently one of um nigerian sister her name is Ida. She just won the world um, longest cooking marathon in the world. I think it's owned by Guinness, something like that. I don't know. I'm not familiar. I know a lot of you guys are familiar. She won it like a couple days ago, and I am super, super proud of her. She cooked for 100 hours, 100 hours straight, and unbelievable, you guys. So I want to use this opportunity to say thank you to her and congratulations to her. So yeah, I'm adding my uh, kale and whenever I add my kale, I just cover it and let it cook so it can, it can, uh, the fluffiness can go down. So that's what I usually do. And I'm going to be adding my meat on top of it. Um, sorry, the fish on top of it. I like to do this so that the fish can uh, go down as well with the fluffiness of the kale and I also added my shrimps and this is just gonna cook for about five minutes and it's done this is it this is what it looks like absolutely delicious very very nice I'm so proud of myself this tastes so good can I tell you guys something can I tell you guys something this was done in like three four days not even not even my son was all over it my son was just in love. The snail, the fish is his favorite. He was just going back and forth. And Lila is loving snail. I introduced snails to my girls. And Malika doesn't eat it. She does not like it at all. But Lila can finish a whole pot of snail. She just started eating snail and she loves it. And yeah, my husband as well. This delicious meal is absolutely giving. I loved it. I loved it. My kids love it. Next one I'm going to be cooking on here. It's going to be a goosey soup. And it's going to be cooked with me. Just what I do in my kitchen. And yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your love and support. If you're new here, 
please do not forget to subscribe thumbs up if you enjoy videos like this this is just me cooking with my cooking for my family and sharing with you guys i know a lot of you guys love things like this so yeah thank you guys so so much thank you don't forget to subscribe to support this channel if you like videos like this share and come back for more i am going to be sharing um um my cleaning after because i, I cleaned after if you guys want to see that please stay tuned and i will catch you guys in my next one and don't forget to watch this video to the end because i want to share my collections with you guys so don't forget to watch it to the end love you guys <laughs> Hey you guys so i want to show you guys our bangles i'm just attaching this video to the one from yesterday the um collection i showed you yesterday i forgot to share this with you guys so these bangles are like you guys know now if you're from nigeria if you are Hausa, if you're yoruba even if you're Igbo, if you're from africa you know all these bangles it's a set right and we usually like them around sorry around eat time we just set them on our hands so i'm gonna be um having some for myself as well for eid they are very very beautiful they are very very nice and it comes as a set you don't have to buy the whole set you can buy two or three or four or you can buy six you can buy 12 we like them in both ends i just want to share with you guys and yeah we have them in different um patterns you can just message me sorry i forgot to leave my whatsapp number on the screen yesterday and i did actually but it didn't update so anyway um we also have big earrings i'm just going to show you a few please follow me on whatsapp because if you're not following me on whatsapp you cannot see all my collections i just come here to share a little bit with you guys we have bold earrings for all of you that like big earrings you guys the one that i launched this week they are they are all etiquette they are so fine they are so beautiful so yeah new earrings just launched and they are big i'm showing just few just to let you know that we have big earrings and this one is so big it's looking so small on camera but it's actually very big you can see the color oh my gosh they're so fine very very nice you can see it now and there's 750 italian written on it and we have this triangle one or rectangle you will call it absolutely very nice very beautiful we have them in um, that triangle and rectangle as well this Versace must is a must for you to have it's not so big it's actually like everyday wear it's not so big and we have this one as well another rectangle but in a different kind of like pattern they're very very nice everything i'm sharing with you guys everything i sell absolutely very very nice absolutely very very beautiful honestly all you have to do is just uh, abby add me on whatsapp let's let me see your collections or you can just screenshot wherever you see here all my collections come to three years warranty three years or don't matter if anything wrong with them you just call me abby only if it's tarnished okay because some people will wear their earrings and it will break they will call me after like a month two months and telling me that oh it broke or something i want to i'm like no come on you can't do that at any store like you use it and it broke some people will tell me oh i've only used it once and it broke like no if i didn't sell it that's why when you buy something 
Look at it very well before you use it. Don't call me after one month, two months telling me it broke that you want it. No, I will not take it, but I'm just being very honest and straightforward. If it tarnish, of course. That's the plan, because we don't want it to tarnish. We, we, are, we are, how do you say, we are proud of what we are selling. We are sure of it. So if anything tarnish, I'm going to buy go, I'm going to go, I'll be existing them. I would definitely, definitely look into it. And because my suppliers, they give me three years warranty, and they're always time by their words. So same with me. Not that I'm the one that make them. I didn't make them. They make them for me, and they always give me assurance on all our goods. So please, don't hesitate at all. And yeah, because I know they will not tarnish. I know they will last long. I know for sure. So, but if anything wrong with them, always call me. Not like it broke or something happened. And then you now call me. Of course, I understand if it's like within 10 days, if it broke, anything happened, then you can call me. But like one month, two months, ah, no, no. Anyway, we have cubanas for men. These are just rolling in slowly for Father's Day. I know Father's Day is still coming. I haven't even started sharing Mother's Day collections. But they came in early. So I was surprised. So I said, okay, let me share with you guys. These are cubana. You can see this. You can see the color in it. You can see the gold. You can see how nice it is. Very nice. You want something for your men, please. Contact me. We have bracelet too. Hand chain for men. We have wristwatches for men. Okay, this uh for my white gold mummies. Me, I don't use white gold. But there are some mummies that like knows how to rock them very well. Some of my aunties, they know how to rock white gold. So I got some for you and I shared some yesterday. So I'll be sharing more. Enjoy the rest of the collections that I shared yesterday. I'll be attaching it here. So please enjoy and what's up. Right. So we are going to advertise. These are our new personalized name necklace just came in and i want to show you guys mine because i just want to try it first before i start selling it so i order one for myself and this one is like the infinity one with my name and my baby's name my son's name and this is one of my customers order actually bali keys and i customize my company name which is abby fabs for all of you that like personalized name yes we now do them in beautiful pure gold so you you can just send in your order and we are start take we start taking orders for uh, mother's day so if you need anything for mother's day please it is time to like put in the orders now because if i don't get them now they will come after mother's day but if you want to gift it out for mother's day please reach out to your girl on the number showing you can see Layla. i did for my my girls i did for my son malik said he doesn't want his name to be spelled out so i did mk so just to like show my customers and they are very affordable inexpensive and they can last over 20 years nothing is going to happen to it absolutely and it comes in white gold this is actually one of my customer her name is lizzie she also made the gold one as well i want to show you this latest new earrings i have more earrings but please just message me on WhatsApp if you want to see our earrings collections. I cannot be showing everything here because there's um, a lot of them. So, But I have them available. I already did all my photo shoots. You guys, photo shoot is not easy, but I still do them anyways. Because I want you guys to see my own real pictures, not the supplier pictures. Alright, this also just came in. This is so beautiful. I love it. It's a party set. I just want to like quickly showcase what comes in. Because now... We get orders every single week like the support is real unbelievable and i really appreciate all of you guys so i just want to show you guys and absolutely very lightweight i've never sold anything like this before and i really really like it i actually have one to myself okay we have chokers oh hey oh my these chokers i love them you guys i am so in love with these chokers like cord absolutely very beautiful they even beautiful more in real life than pictures you can see them i'm showing you how it looks go 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 this is no photoshop or anything and this one i love the fact that it's very soft you can see how i'm folding it very very nice and soft you can use it with your pendant or your sets anything that you want they like exactly pure um italian good but these are brazilian but you cannot tell the difference between brazilian and italian so why are we killing ourselves buying all these expensive thousands of dollars of on one dreary where you can buy your beautiful brazilian gold with the same quality i'm telling you with the same quality and absolutely very simple i just show you guys the 
two colors or oh, no the three colors you can just rewind the video okay i want to quickly show you guys the um white one these are the white gold ones you guys look at this now look at what i'm showing you look at what i'm showing you they are all pure brazilian gold very very nice very very simple and they are lightweight you know our our, our, our collections are growing and growing and growing because people trust us look at this one look at this this is very very light and very very nice for your party even for to go to office something simple on your neck these are very very nice and they are very affordable they are not expensive i'm telling you they are not expensive and we have made our payment very very easy um, i don't have to take your credit card i just sent you i uh, send me your email and i email you the invoice and you pay it very very simple look at this this is my favorite my favorite, I saw it, I was screaming, but I don't have a lot of it, that's the thing. They sent me about 10, and I know it's going to go by so fast. I have three favorites, and I'm going to show you guys know I love my gold. Gold, gold, gold all the way. So I like this one as well. This three steps one, very, very fine, very, very lovely. And the fact that anybody can wear it, even if you are big, if you have big neck, you can wear it because they don't have any um, cord. You can just open it and clip it in your back, you can see. You can see how that one looks like it's very very easy you just slide it to your neck there's nothing to hook at the back absolutely you can see that there's nothing to hook at the back you just open it like that and slide it in so it's very very easy to slide in like i love it and very very fine you can wear it on english native anything that you want to pair it with absolutely very beautiful i love them when i received them unbelievable i was like wow these are really beautiful in real life than pictures because when i saw them in pictures i wasn't really impressed so so when i receive them in like uh in real life and when i feel them when i see how they look they look absolutely very beautiful and better in in real life than picture they are so 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 nice so 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 beautiful i really really like them and they also come in silver and in white gold so everything that you see in here they all have white gold so yeah you can just send me a message on whatsapp and i will send you my collections and you can view them better in um on whatsapp on your phone sorry president just woke up and i'm gonna put one on my neck so you can see how it's gonna look you can see the white gold one i just want to put it on my neck so you can see and that's my personalized name on the bottom that i just got all right we have the simple sets now these are three color gold, like simple everyday wear. If you want something very simple, you can see it right here. Very, very nice. The dangling earrings. It comes with rose gold, white gold, and um, gold. You can see it. Very simple and very, very lightweight. And there is 750 Italian written on it. We also have this one with a simple earring and with a stud earring i already showed that before actually the one in the middle and this one too we had the we had them last month and it, it all sold out like everything we got sold out so now we are fully stocked and yeah anything that you see on here anything that you see on here you guys just whatsapp me you want something simple we have them simple i just want to show you again like this so you can see it better um like this middle one oh my god so so nice and they are 750 Italian, written on it, very, very nice. And this can last so long. And my all my collections come with three years warranty. If you buy anything that you are not satisfied with, there's always three years warranty. So message me on WhatsApp, just on the number showing. I love you guys. Thank you so much.